Okay, I'm going to really hard to explain what I have learned about not enough items. So you can turn creativity off and turn it on. Was that little C? There's also creativity plus, but nobody's been able to give me an explanation of what that really means. Here's your search function so that you can see, like I'm looking for emerald shards. I cannot, you're supposed to be able with the utility function to click on blocks and stuff and see how they can be crafted. I cannot figure out how to, what I'm supposed to do with emerald shards. Now if you've got junk in your inventory you don't want, you can clean, turn on the delete function and delete garbage. Apparently this um, texture pack does not have a texture for locked chests, that's okay. You can turn rain on, and of course in snow biomes it'll be snow, and in desert biomes it'll just be dark and gloomy. Again, you can turn on creativity, creativity plus, which is difficult for me to see, and then just turn it off. And then I made a boo-boo, I left creativity on, and I tried to show you this magnet thing. This is the hole I buried myself in last night. I've been doing science experiments in it. It's now the following day, but... Yeah, oops, turn creativity off. Okay, I've got the magnet thing on, and no matter how far away a floating item is, whether it's a block or I'm thinking drops from mobs, or if you accidentally hit Q and spit out inventory you didn't mean to, um, it will come back to you. Also notice you can set item IDs so that when you're pointed at a block, it tells you what that block is. There's something called marble cobblestone that looks a lot like wool actually all right so you can set your time of day to dawn noon dusk and midnight you can also restore health which unfortunately i already did i was down to hunger pops and i think about half a heart when i did it and it does it doesn't matter if you're if you've got fire damage drowning whatever uh put if it's on world options that's only for the world you're playing any i world options you want Minecraft layout, not the old too many items layout. I want highlight tips shown. I want item IDs shown. Right now I'm playing on chip, cheap mode. Um, if you put any eye on global settings, it's every possible any eye thing, and you don't want to do that because uh, it's telling. Look how many there's pages and pages. What 17 pages of junk to go through already? Do you really need to do that? Um, so reduce it as many items as you're not playing with as possible. Err, I'm having a hard time getting things to go into my inventory. I don't know if it's laggy or what. There we go. See, I'm, also I can't see well. Um, I just wanted to show that on cheat mode you can put stacks. You can either put individual things in, apparently by right clicking on them, although I've had no luck with that, or by le left clicking you get a stack of 64. Now, why anybody would want 64 wither spawners, I don't know. And then I panicked and I couldn't get it to break. Because even though I'm on creative, if that thing spawned a wither, would it tear up that beautiful ravine thing that I found? So there I am with a wooden pickaxe, trying to kill a wither. But I'll keep the XP, thank you. Er, now what am I trying to... Oh yeah, doing using my garbage can to get rid of all those spawners. Because I have... 64 times 3 withers and 64 times 2 creepers and you know what I really want to do is accidentally place a, a half a dozen creeper spawners while I'm trying to work, right? Okay, this is my beginning inventory. I already loaded it so it knew it was there. And the second one down is my test inventory. Um, so you can arrange your inventory however you want and you can save it. Um, Oh, also item subsets, you can turn on and off the items that you don't want to have to look at. Like, what? I'm not playing Legend Gear, I can turn it off and it won't appear in that inventory on my right. Um, uh, you can save inventories and you can save these subsets so that you only see the blocks and items and stuff that you want. You can customize them however you want. I think you left click on a, on a specific one to turn it off and then you... No, you left click to highlight it and then right click to turn it off and left click to turn it back on again. And so you can save these subsets so that you just have um, the items and blocks and so on in those subsets that you want to call up right away. 
that would be really good for people who are like building maps and doing a lot of heavy duty creative stuff and you can name them so you, do, you can remember what they are because who's going to remember one two three four five you know blah blah you can do the same thing with those ones over there on the left that are your personal inventories you can you can name them however you want uh, this is the search bar anything with LOS in it is now showing in my results uh, you can also type a question mark in and it will look for like you could put BL question mark CK it'll look up both black and block I'm trying to change modes here so that I can show you that you can it'll also tell you recipes for stuff the best way to do that I found is to click on the item and then hit your R key it'll show you what um, colors and types of materials can be used to craft things with. This shows me how to craft emerald shards and it doesn't show me what to do with them. The question mark is supposed to give you tips on what to do with them. Always get out of your search function before you try to do stuff like click utility R for recipe. Uh, oh, X, you can, you can actually have an enchanting table. I don't think I recorded that. See, it shows you what kinds of wood can be used to make fence posts. And you can combine all kinds of them. Er, and, of course, there's wood in this that I've never even seen before. My next thing, I'll probably show you the er, um, the lumber mod. I can't remember what it's called. Tree capulator? Something like that. i got to switch back into creative because I'm trying to jump out of this trench in all the wrong modes I can't get utility mode to work so if anybody's got any clues I would appreciate it I would like utility mode because I when I find these items I would like to know what I can use them for so I just don't collect a bunch of junk saying well that could be useful someday so I'm on creative and in peaceful so things can't get me and I thought I'd take a peek in this tower because it doesn't say, but I think those are very those very special poison spiders that can blind me and stuff. The farther up the tower you go, the worse the cooties get. I think there's really nothing in that chest. And all the way at the top, there's I didn't look at that spawner for the monster at the top. I just looked at the chest. There's things having to do with lava and all kinds of horrible things about this particular tower and I'm going to make sure I have lots of armor and stuff before I even go near it. And maybe some experience battling monsters. This is the area over which I spawn. There's the ravine I've been goofing around in. I haven't gone very far. And there's my cheaty chest. When you log into any game of Minecraft, you can ask for a starter chest. And this one gave me wood and a pickaxe and a wooden axe and a couple of sticks and whatnot. Now, when I was recording earlier and the video didn't come out right, I did hear one of those meteors. I didn't see it because I was in my inventory. You see how I'm pointing at blocks and it's telling me the idea of the blocks so I know right away? That's going to be very useful because I don't know what the heck I'm looking at. So this is it. I'm trying. Wish me luck. Bye.